Hi everyone, welcome to the Avatar Roulette Challenge. Here, we will be creating a character by randomly generating the following things. Class and or superpower, race, colors, character alignment, and a phrase or quote. So sit back and enjoy, and let's see the results together. All right, y'all, here's the reference sheet. Now, adding a theme to this changed everything. I had to completely go ham. This took a week and a half. It was crazy. This is the, wait, I said reference sheet before. No, this is the reference sheet. As you can see, it whooped my ass. Now you know how this goes. We got to do the anatomy. And I was like, let me draw a goblin. Let me draw a tree. Let me draw a skeleton. And let me draw a goblin hut. Cause I had to know how to do all of these things before I really get down and dirty. So let me draw a giant tree, a giant dead tree. But this giant dead tree is a goblin. This goblin has the superpower of bone manipulation. So I combine that with the theme, which is a dead tree. And he becomes a bone tree. This goblin becomes a bone tree at will. He can then inhabit smaller goblins that don't have the luxury of bone manipulation. But they can live within his bones. They can live uh, around him. They can use the bones as an infinite resource. They can use bones to build huts you know they can just craft a bunch of tools with this infinite resource of bones from this bone dude bone goblin bone man <laughs> I'm not gonna say that that's funny though <laughs> but uh, yeah this is the line work I'm just speeding through it as you can see I added some stuff from the sketch I added some little houses, well, little huts on the bone structure, some ropes. And uh, I really wanted to make this a habitat for the smaller goblins. So now I'm adding the colors. This is the colors that I that I got. This brown green, this uh, this gray color, and the salmon pink, which I've gotten many times. So I'm really comfortable using it now. But yeah, we're just gonna lay the colors down. Uh, I make the background before doing the shadows because I needed to know where the light source was coming from. I also needed to know what color the background was gonna be so that I can then uh, make a multiply layer and make the shadows with that color and lower the opacity a bit. Yeah, th this, this one, just adding a theme to the random stuff just caused it so much more, like, work that I had to put in. But it was worth it. This is fire. I don't know what to name this character, so I'm going to name it right now. I'm going to name it Goblin Man Bony Dude. Whatever. Yeah, if you enjoyed this piece... Or if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification on. You get notified every time I post a brand new video. And with that being said, thank you for watching. Peace.